Welcome to our series of our Tower Talks from Saab Digital Air Traffic Solutions, in which we share our latest thoughts on remote and digital towers, which is our passion. ESTAS is a joint venture between Saab and LFE, the ANSP of Sweden. In this session, I will talk about moving the R Tower system from being the first generation, or 1.0, which was well fit to show the remote and digital operations that it works, is safe, and is accepted by the operators. Two, delivering an industrialized, scalable, sustainable product designed to produce air traffic services 24-7 for different types of airports, climates, continents and customers. And at Estas we keep it simple, we just call it Saab R Tower 2.0. My name is Niklas Gustafsson and I'm the Vice President of Business Development at Estas. First, I just need to mention some of the learnings and key design criteria for R Tower 2.0. We wanted a clear center philosophy, working from a center. We want to make sure it was fully role-based with positions that can be allocated as needed. We want to increase the heads-up time for the controllers and the control functions to be on the screen. We wanted to introduce digital support functions, integrated training and simulation and improve the maintainability and with increased weather protection. The Saab R Tower 2.0 support uh, remote or digital tower center philosophy which will enable efficient operations by combining tower and approach control for multiple airports in the center. Providing co the controller with a fully harmonized working position, same for all airports, integrated training and the ability to hold a multiple endorsement and a unified maintenance and support capability. So we can say that the center or the centralization makes the difference. The cameras are the eyes of the controller and must always be available. At Saab we use a weather hardened camera house, sometimes we call it just a crow's nest, to protect the cameras. In the second generation we have improved the design further to cope with icing, extreme heat and other tough things that will happen. We want to have those eyes open as much as possible. The need for maintenance is reduced and up to yeah, close to 100% and it should work year after year after year after year. Working in a traditional tower normally means mixing a lot of looking out with a lot of head down time for various automation systems. A digital tower that enables more information to be managed on the panorama screens and for some R Tower too, we developed something we call the donut or an on-screen menu to provide the controllers with more heads up time and though increased its situational awareness by looking out. Of course, uh, the R-Tower also comes with digital support tools like Box of Following, PTZ tracking, radar labels and various types of overlays, as you see. Most important, the design we have is done by controllers, for controllers. That's important for us at Estats. Another key thing with Saab R-Tower 2.0 is the ability to train, validate and simulate using the remote tower module and controller working positions, which are the same as for the operational system. This means that in a central towers, training can be done on site and part of the daily routine, more or less. This will also support and simplify the ability for a controller to have endorsements for more than one airport uh, in his license. The training facility that we deliver is normally combined with an integrated test and demonstration system using the same module. And of course, this creates trust and flexibility by having these training facilities on site. At Estaps, we also believe that the job is done when the customer has the operational approval and it's up and running. That's the ticket you want. Our team of controllers, safety experts, safety engineers has developed and refined a methodology that will support and reduce the risks of implementation for you. Let's connect with Mr. Erik Beckmann, my colleague, and the Estaps Chief of Operations to hear uh, more about that process and the way we work. There are multiple things that you need to put together in the realization, in the transformation from the conventional tower to the R tower. It's all about change management. First, you need to define the change. What is the starting point? How should we perform the transformation and how do we follow up the change afterwards? You need to define your organization that's going to run the project. Who is the change owner? What are the project activities, project plans? human factors, human factors cases, or realization plans you need to have. All of that should be documented in a safety plan. 
During step two, you start your training of the controllers and your engineers. You also validate the system. And if you have a simulator, it's a good advice to use the simulator for ATCO training and use it close before you start the live service. During step three and four, it's more about the live condition. You run the system as you should and you perform your service to the airport. And my suggestion is, even though you have a low density airport, staff up with other employees to be supported to the controllers because there are a lot of alarms and other tasks that pops up initially. Oh, and one reminder, use a checklist from day one. Document everything. Try to find a connection between all documents and you will have a successful journey. Thank you. Working with ESTAS means also access to the R Tower 2.0, but also our experience to support the change management. For us, the technology is only half the delivery. Uh, moving from a traditional tower to remote or digital tower will impact your organization and the people involved. We know the importance of an open communication to build trust and engagement from all stakeholders in the process. This is sort of one of the key things. And yeah, it's all about change management. So, the Saab R Tower 2.0 of Digital Tower is currently being implemented for a number of customers, providing an industrialized, field proven, and a sustainable platform. So, working with ESTAS will also provide full support from decision to operational approval. That's important. So, welcome to the ESTAS family.